Hello, Emily. Hi. Hi yeah. How are you? Well, I'm good. I'm good. And you look gorgeous today. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's the first time I've put a full face of makeup on for a while. And how but does it feel? It feels good. Although I think my skin is grateful for actually not wearing it for a little while. Oh. Give it a bit of a breather. So, but yeah, all good. But it's worthy. It's worthy. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so introduce yourself, who you are and what you do. Sure. So I'm Emily White. I am a qualified chiropractor registered with the General Chiropractic Council um, and the British Chiropractic Association is my professional body. Um, so my job is to, well, in a short description, it's to fix people's pain, essentially. Um, so through a whole process of examination, we figure out what the problem is and then use our specialist form of hands on treatment to try and get rid of it. Um, so yeah, I currently work, um, well, not at this moment in time, obviously, but I normally work in two practices, one in the Barbican in the city of London and one in Primrose Hill, which is quite close to where I live. Um, so I normally split my time between the two. Um, yeah, it's good. Okay. And, uh, how the actual situation affected you and your business? Well, it's affected it negatively. So because of the job that I do, I'm in close proximity to people all the time. I can't do my job without being close to people. It's hands on type of treatment. So um, I'm not actually at work at the moment because we were advised that being that close to people at the moment is not it's not sensible, really, you know, with all the, the they still don't fully know how the virus really works because it's so new. Um, and they don't know, they've said that, you know, some people can be carriers, but not have symptoms. So even if we were in clinic, you know, we were checking for a while saying, you know, if you've had symptoms, then don't come in. But then they said that there were people who maybe don't have symptoms, but are still a carrier. So it got to a point where you just didn't know. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, we decided to close both clinics um, for now, especially during this lockdown period of you know, the first sort of few weeks to just try and manage, obviously, the spread um, of the virus. And because we have so many people in and out, you know, I could see up to 20, 25 people a day. Um, and wow. you'd, I just don't want to be that person that's spreading it. You know, even, even if I was potentially a carrier and giving it to somebody else, I don't, I don't you know, I'm, I'm a healthcare professional. So putting people's health at risk is not what I want to do. So at the moment, I'm just at home, um, but I am giving posture advice to people and doing some video consultations, obviously not the hands-on stuff, um, but doing what I can in the meantime. At this moment in time, everybody's working from home. So there are gonna be a few posture-related back problems creeping in. So yeah, I'll do to help with that. Yeah, awesome. And uh, speaking of which, you do you have any piece of advice to share with people that are smart working, working yeah. from home at the moment, and maybe might have some back pain? Yeah, so most of it is to do with posture. And honestly, the biggest thing to stop you from getting too sore is to get up and move around as often as you can. And that's the same even if you work in an office. You know, you can go into work and sit at your desk at 8.30 and before you know it, it's lunchtime and you haven't moved for four hours. Yeah, um, and the same thing can happen at home. I know it's a little bit easier. You know, you can get up, make a cup of tea or whatever. Ah, there you go. Um, but it's, yes. that's yes. the best thing to do. You know, you need to aim to move every 30 minutes. And even if that is just stand up, walk around the living room and then sit back down again, that's better than nothing. Um, there's a thing we have called the Brugger stretch. Um, and it's a really good way of just resetting your posture. So we recommend that people do it every half an hour. And all you have to do is sort of sit forward on your chair so that your thighs are parallel with the floor. And then if you imagine you have a piece of string through the top of your head and someone's going to pull up on that piece of string so that you automatically sit up taller. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now this bit isn't quite as attractive, but the next step is to try and give yourself a double chin. It's called the chin tuck. So you pull your chin backwards this way. It's just the opposite hold. of what photograph, oh, sorry, photographers say. <laughs> yeah, it's forward, I know, it's the opposite. But when you're on a computer, a lot of the time you end up sort of like looking forwards into the computer screen. In a very unnatural pose. Yeah, so you tuck, you, you pull up on the string, you pull your chin in, and then the other thing we recommend is you just bring your shoulders back and down and just mm. take three deep breaths in this position and then relax back down and you can then carry on with it. So it, it doesn't take very long, you know, 10, 15 seconds. But if you were to do that every 30 minutes, it would help just release all that tension that, where we all end up like this, stuck on the computer for hours on end. So that's a really good way of just combating a bit of everything, to be honest. That's good. Good to know. Well, I'm not sharing all that time sitting just because my business is not about that, but my husband is working from home at the moment. And yeah. a couple of days ago, he had a terrible head and back pain. And so I guess it's a mix of things. So the other thing is obviously sitting at home is people are not sitting in correct chairs. You know, not everybody has a really good office chair and things at home. Exactly. They're just sitting at like the kitchen table or on a stool or, or even on the sofa, you know? So what I have done, and I'm just going to show you this image so that you can... Yes, please. See this? There we go. So this here is this little picture is what I recommend that you try and do. So if you grab yourself a towel, a large towel, fold it in half and roll it up so it's about two or three inches across. Mm. And that makes, it's a really good makeshift lower back support. So you can see, no matter what chair you're sitting on, if you put it behind your spine, now for every person it's slightly different, but the way to measure it is to put it level with your elbows. So if your arm is down by your side, where your elbow sits, so sort of along that, that waistline almost, you know, where your lower ribs are, that, is where that towel support just here should sit and automatically that will keep you more upright the towel will support you so you don't have to hold yourself there even on the sofa you can do this you know put all the cushions behind you on the sofa so that you're not slouching into it it will keep you more upright does that make sense yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. so that's a really cool. good way of recommending cool. it. okay yeah do we have to wear the same? <laughs> Say again? Say, do we have to, to wear something like the... Oh yes, if you have a unitard, <laughs> definitely wear the unitard. It really helps, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. good. I mean, good. I know there's only so much people can do at home. It is difficult. I mean, I don't have, I don't even have a proper chair in my house. Um, you know, we have the sofa, we have a footstool. Um, and a little armchair, but we don't have space for like a kitchen table or anything. So if people like that, you know, in small flats, I totally get it. It's going to be really difficult, but there are these little things that you can do that will help in the long run. And then obviously as, and when we all get back to work, I think I might be inundated with requests to fix people. I think so. I think so. I think so. So maybe it's about, you know, putting on hold and how you work now, but you're going to have much more work to do when we go back to reality. So you don't actually have to sit around too much for your work? Not really. And well, at the moment, usually I don't because I go around with clients or to clients mm -hmm. or they come to me for the color consultation, but I oh, send. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I don't see them much because I'm looking after my child almost all the time. Well, that will keep you busy for sure. Yes, yes. So when I have the chance to see to do some video content or some video calls like this, it's just, you know, relax for me. Let like 10 minutes <laughs> what it takes. And yeah. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. So as, as long as you're not sitting down for hours on end. No. Um, no. And I'm sure your little one keeps you very busy, which is actually good for you. Keeping yeah. active is much better for your back. Today is three. I think I've already done more than 10,000 uh, 10, pounds. Oh my goodness. Steps. Well, well done. That's great news. I mean, I don't think I've even done a thousand steps yet today. So I'm going to go for a walk after this. <laughs> do it. <laughs> now we still can go for a walk, so do it. Yeah. Um, well, I think instead, my, you were talking about 
working from home and uh, how people can you know adapt or anyway sit in back positions but i think from a starting point of view what can happen is that people can just you know um adapt to wearing pajamas or tracksuits all the time and um, so my piece of advice today is especially if you are working from home try every day to work to wear something nice as if you were actually going to work to your office even if you don't want to put too much makeup on or you know do the whole routine but do something that makes you feel uh yourself again actually as i said today is the first time that i've because i knew i was going to be talking to you but i actually feel better like even mentally feel better like i'm more put together you know i i got up and there was like a routine and um it just feels like mentally it makes a difference to actually put like proper clothes on and not just change from one set of pajamas into a different set of pajamas yeah and i know that um you people might find it useless you know because say well i'm staying home i'm not seeing anybody why do i have to do that and the answer is mainly for yourself because as you were saying you just feel better and you don't have to do it every day but maybe most of the time you should do the extra effort and also especially if you run your own business or anyway if you have to keep on connecting with people like we are doing now um it is you don't forget that you are still connecting with people even if virtually so you still want to give the best impression of Of course yeah so we shouldn't forget about this well i'm gonna try as of today um having gotten up and gotten ready and put some effort in today i feel a lot more positive and you know just generally more productive you know rather than just sitting around not doing much um so i think i'm gonna try and stick to it i'm gonna get up every day good get ready (laughs) yeah, <laughs> and, it, and now if you go have a stroll you can take a nice selfie of yourself and put it on instagram yeah, it's always good for the selfie <laughs> <laughs> all right lovely to chat with you and i hope to speak again very soon see you soon bye keep up bye bye